Hi, my name is Krista Butzner, and I will be talking about the studies that we did in Dr. Farrell's research methods class for fall 2017. We conducted two studies over psychological well-being and social media use. The purpose of the first study was to figure out if there was a relationship between passive social media use and active social media use and psychological well-being. For psychological well-being, we used positive affect, negative affect, and life satisfaction. As for the results of um, study one, we found that life satisfaction and passive social media use are negatively correlated and that active social media use was positively correlated with positive emotions and no other significant correlations were found. My hypothesis for um, this specific study was that active social media use will negatively correlate to life satisfaction. So my hypothesis was correct. Um, some more information on study one was basically that we just use the Ed Diener scale in order to determine life satisfaction and positive affect. Um, participants found this study on social media. They were not incentivized and this study was actually really strong because we had a really large sample size and it was very diverse. Now, the second study that we ran was to determine what the positive correlation or the reason behind the positive correlation between positive affect and active social media, social media use. So we sent out another survey for this. However, this one was limited in that it was not nearly as large as the first survey in regards to sample size, so it was not anywhere near as diverse. However, this specific survey was very interesting because it was an experimental study, so we actually manipulated the mood of the participants. The study did this very well, so that was a strength of this study and that we can guarantee that the results were due to this specific variable and not outside forces. So what we found was that there was a significant relationship between mood induction and active social media use. There was no significant relationship between gender and active social media use um, or active social media use and mood. But the other way around, there was a significant relationship. So basically what we found was that when people are in a good mood, they go and use social media actively, not passively. There was no correlation between that. My hypothesis for this study was non-existent since it was just an exploratory study. So the findings of these studies are very interesting because obviously we all use social media all the time. And the first study showed us that um, social media use does have an effect on our psychological well-being. Passively, it um, correlated strongly to um, negative affect and actively, or it correlated strongly um, with lower levels of life satisfaction and actively it correlated with positive emotion. And as for the second study, we found that when you're in a good mood, you tend to use social media actively. Further research needs to be done as to why exactly this happens, but we have a good start. Thank you.